Then, of course, they have the Godzilla versus King Kong match because they got a sponsorship from the movie. And who fits the Godzilla? Pro it was not as exciting as when me and Michael Hayes did promos for him on Grandpa Munster's Super Scary Saturday on TBS back in 87. I'll tell you that. But Godzilla's team, of course, Jungle Boy and Dino Douche, at least there was no dwarf dong sucker to stink the joint out. He was nowhere to be seen, and that's a good thing. Against the team of Bear Country. Where did they get Bear Boulder and Bear Bronson? I don't know. I'm surprised their manager wasn't Bronson Pincho. Uh <sighs> These guys, they I'm sorry that what what's the matter there? Bronson Pincho, really? Bronson Pincho, oh, oh, you're so ridiculous. You know, he's been in the news recently. Really? What did he do? He lost like 80 pounds or something. I didn't know he was fat to begin with. Apparently, he had gained a lot of weight in the last several years and used a pandemic to trim down, and he's been telling stories from his life about working with Tom Cruise and Eddie Murphy and various others. I remember him as being a, a very slight build fellow. I didn't know he got fat. Anyway, he needs to uh, then give Bear Boulder and Bear Bronson some diet tips. They, These guys, there wasn't anything wrong with them. They weren't doing flips and gymnastics, but they look like the top heel team in every independent promotion in Kansas. Just guys. Just guys. No tan no muscular definition, no ridiculous amount of size to make up for the lack of muscular definition, no look, no introduction, no promo. We don't know what the fuck. They're just here. They're upholding King Kong. The fuck? Anyway, um, the big bear country guy is as tall as Dino Douche, so all he did was make Dino Douche look smaller. Uh, within the first minute, Jungle Boy had done three dives out of the ring in a row, and then Dino did one. It just hot garbage from the start of this thing. Just an outlaw wrestling match. Uh, at one point, Bear Country caught Jungle Boy coming off the top rope and had him up like for a power bomb. And I can't even tell you what this spot was supposed to be. But Jungle Boy's up for a power bomb sitting on Bear Country's fucking shoulders backwards in the power bomb position and Dino douche comes off the top with a cross body to jungle boys back and just hit him and did the George of the jungle thing where he just slid straight down him to a heap. <laughs> and then bear country just turned around and dropped jungle boy. I think he um, was trying to catch both of them, which is crazy. Well, it look, no, he what because there was no way he could have, you would have had to have been insane now that I'm saying this out loud. Maybe they were trying to. You would have had to be insane <laughs> yeah. to think that you could have caught Dino Douche in that position. It was more like that Dino Douche was going to crossbody Jungle Boy and Jungle Boy would end up in a Thez press on on the Bear Country guy on, on the ground. But it didn't work because Dino's a klutz and he, can, and he wasn't coming at the right angle to even do that. And so he fell in a heap of douche at the guy's feet and by the way out of all the guys on this episode even the young bucks luchasaurus is clearly the biggest offender with the leg slaps oh yeah he oh, can't yeah. Well, stop I, well besides that he you can plainly see it and he's you know it's just it's the worst yeah but they went to a break after the heap of douche but when they came back <laughs> to, from the break you know hey that could be a shirt too there's a heap and help a douche for you. Uh, they got heat on Jungle Boy and gave the hot tag to Dino Douche. And go back, anybody that still has this on your DVR or whatever you watch. Dino Douche gets the hot tag and his very sec, he clotheslined, I think, the first guy. And the second move that he did on the fucking comeback, he tried to just with his right foot just throw a pump kick up on one of the heels and he went right past him he missed the guy who was standing in front of him with a fucking kick he just went right like a foot past him on the side of him and i'm telling this guy is big enough and strong enough and awkward enough he's gonna hurt somebody at some point even if just by falling on him he's gonna hurt somebody so then 
they did something where Dino had covered one of the heels, but the other heel got Jungle Boy up, and it looked like he tried to power slam on top of the pile, and and it almost just, it looked like it could have injured anybody involved in that. He just fell on him. And while they're doing this, the announcers are doing a ticket plug. Excrement's reading a hard sell on the ticket on sale. I, I can't even describe the mess of a finish that they did. And finally, the Godzilla team goes over and JR brought out, well, uh, parts of it were bowling shoe ugly. Yeah, really sloppy. Really not good. At least Marco's stunt wasn't there. That was a pleasant surprise. That, that made it something better. But So then we go to QT Marshall and his group in his in the Nightmare Factory. Which how did they now since the Nightmare Factory, we've established QT by his own words was working for Cody and Cody apparently started the nightmare factory. How do these guys, how could, didn't Cody have the locks changed? How are they still getting in? But anyway, because it's QT's wrestling school and this is all a work. But suddenly now QT is a full fledged heel verbally ripping Cody apart, reading lines that have been written to put his group over, but he's a full fledged heel now. When he was up until three weeks ago, he was polite and fucking nice and used his left and right turn indicator. Um, of the group, this Anthony Agogo, I told you his name was Agogo. You, you didn't did. believe me. No, you did. You, d you did say it. He's got some personality. He's got an athletic background. He might be something. It might have to be in some other promotion because... <laughs> He's going to learn nothing and nobody's going to get it, get him over here in this fucking mess, but he's got the tools. One of the other guys threw paint at the nightmare factory logo on the wall and missed all the writing, just blotched up the fucking black background. So now they're, they're mad at Cody. Yeah. And the other guy, I mean, it was too inside too. QT, whatever the other guy's name was, Bob, blah, 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 whatever. He said, he's not just some girl's boyfriend. How would anyone out there know that? Apparently he was <laughs> Bailey's boyfriend and they broke up recently. Oh yeah, that's right. I heard that. No one well, knows that. It means nothing to anybody. But to the 150 or 200,000 people who are so dedicated to this company that they will buy the pay-per-views, they have no lives and they will research this endlessly. These uninteresting people doing this phony shit because I mentioned earlier, women don't have a problem getting laid. That's why they have no time for foolishness and they don't have a lot of spare time because people are interested in them. But these guys that like this kind of wrestling and wrestlers, since the only fucking date they ever have is with the four sisters on Thumb Street, they got plenty of fucking free time to research all this. So anyway, 